in our last video we were talking about systems we're going to see the type of systems we're going to see the boundaries and, and the examples I'm going to present you the surroundings and what will be the universe closed system is essentially there's no mass exchange but you can exchange energy example this can let's say you have your soda here even though you know that the material is or will be always inside you know that the heat can increase the temperature or maybe if it's cold outside you're going to decrease the temperature so you can actually change heat and the surroundings will be all that is not our uh, can so for example the air on the ambient the this desk maybe the table or if it's in the fridge the fridge and the universe will be of course all that is not or actually our little can and all the surroundings open system is a very common system in engineering there is exchange of mass and energy for example this I want to stick with the example of the beverage you have this glass it is not close actually your CO2 or the carbonation is going to go out you could also be adding I don't know a mosquito or dust or I don't know whatever thing it might go inside then what else mm, you're going to have interaction with the outside world with the heat let's say the ambient temperature is going to take away heat or not keep up give heat it's going to hot or to heat and increase this into a hot state etc and last but not least insulated system is in theory impossible but we can achieve that and why impossible because there is no change of energy and that does not happen in real life this one may happen a little bit you can say in general but energy is more difficult and I will say that let's say we have our coffee here it's hot Celsius 100 Celsius and outside is 25 Celsius and let's say there is no change because this is pretty awesome material that does not exchange temperature with the outside so there's my coffee let's say there are 100 grams of coffee inside actually it will be 10, 100 milliliters of coffee I'm saying it's about 100 grams of coffee and it's about 100 Celsius and it will not exchange energy so the actual heat energy of my coffee stays the same and that's about the systems we only or we are going to use only three systems what's up guys it's me chemical engineering guy so if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.